a very good morning to every one of us. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Let us pray. Lord our God, teach us to know you. Teach us to believe in you. Teach us that we may serve you with all our hearts. We pray for each other and we pray for your gift that throughout this week of all that you give unto us, we may experience also your healing touch. Grant unto us today and in this week, a touch of your healing in our body, spiritually, emotionally, and psychologically, even socially. Lord, let your will be done as we place ourselves at your feet. For we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Monday of the fifth week in ordinary time. Our gospel today is taken from Mark chapter 6, verse 53 to 56. Mark chapter 6, verse 53 to 56. 56. I take the reading. After making the crossing to the other side of the lake, Jesus and his disciples came to the land of Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. Whatever village or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the mat places and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak. As many as touched it were healed. Beloved, the gospel of the Lord. Shall we be observe a moment of silence over the word of God that we have heard? that they might be able to touch the fringe or the tassel of his cloak. That is all for them it took as faith to be able to experience Jesus. We are told today that Jesus crossed to the other side of the sea. If we were reading the verses before, we would have seen that Jesus would have performed the miracle of the loaves. Now he has crossed to the other side and when he got there, the people recognized him. The challenge or the question to ask this morning is that, do we also recognize Christ? Do you recognize him only when you are in trouble or do we recognize and acknowledge him during and throughout the day? 
Jesus' power was fully displayed through a whole series of ministry moments in the context. Number one, he crosses to the other side. Two, he shows great compassion even though throughout the night he was busy. He shows compassion and shows that the work must go on until he's, he's done. He knew that the time to work was not so much. So he had to do and finish within a time that had been set so that at the end, so that at the end, you, he will, he will be able to say on the cross that it is finished. It is finished. Jesus' ministry is shown in many ways. Today, it is only that he would give healing. This week, my dear friends, our prayer is that the Lord may touch us. The Lord may touch me, me today. This is our prayer today. That the Lord may touch me today. However, many people than just the disciples realized Jesus had a great power to heal, to bless, to deliver from Satan. Do you recognize this power? Are you ready to confess it? Are you ready to ask yourself and for it? The crowd knew it. They swarmed about him. They anticipated his next move. They dodged his steps. Like, like you know, uh, Zacchaeus, they ran, they ran ahead of him, knowing that he would pass this place. I want you to believe truly in your heart that this week, Jesus wants to heal you. He wants to heal us. You have to just anticipate his, need, his steps. We have to anticipate his steps today. They brought the sick to him. Jesus had the power and they knew it. Today also, we are online and we are going to ask the Lord for his healing. The real question is whether we know it. Do you know and do you believe in the power of Jesus to heal us in his own time? Do we trust that he has the power to heal us in our time of need. Remember, he will heal us at a time of need, but in his own time. Do we believe that his power is real or it is just a figment of religious imagination? The power of Jesus to heal is real. I don't know about you, but I want to declare today, I believe. I believe, and I want to declare to us again and say, I believe. Do you also believe? What do you believe today? What do you believe today that we want the Lord to take control of? I have given us a number of quotations that I want us to read today throughout the day. I want you to take your time and read it clearly to yourself. But for this morning, as we are going to ask the Lord for his healing, I want us to quietly look at Ephesians chapter one, verse 19 to 23. And he says, Paul says to us, and his incomparable great power for us who believe, the power is the same as the mighty strength he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead. 
and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly realms, far above everything and authority, power and dominion, not only in the present age, but in the age to come. And God placed all things under his feet. When you read verse 22, he says, God placed everything under his feet and appointed him, that is Jesus Christ, head over everything for the churches, which is his body. The fullness of him who fulfills everything in every way. I love it in verse 22, chapter 1, verse 22. It says, God placed all things under the feet of Jesus. I want us to today to begin. We want us to lift up our hands and say in a prayer, I believe, I believe. This morning, we are continuing our prayer of healing and asking and saying that, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe. We just want, I want you to just lift up your hand right now for yourself. Lift up your hand right now. I want you to declare and say what you believe. Just tell God right now in the silence of your home right now, whilst we are all unmuted and tell God, what do you believe? Tell him, tell him, what do I believe? Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. It's mine and all child. Well, without the of men. Amen. Amen.